So, Atan, um, let's start with uh, your introduction. Like, you can tell a, a bit about yourself and your organization. Yeah, so I'm a digital strategist. I've been working in digital for over 12 years now. I mostly work with thought leaders who are building out courses and programs to reach a wider audience. That includes doctors, authors, speakers who want to go from a one-to-one -one audience to a much broader audience. And I always say that I help people make money online with intention and soul. Um, and I love what I do and who I do it with. Amazing. And uh, so how how uh, Ruttel is uh, there in your picture? Like uh, how you're using Ruttel in your organization? First of all, it has really changed the client experience for us. Whereas we used to do revisions in Google Docs or random emails or a project management app like Asana, it's now really streamlining that process because a lot of the people that we work with are just getting online. They may not necessarily be comfortable, let alone uh, aware of the technology and how to use it. And it's a, quite an overwhelming process to go from offline to online. And I really need to consider all different types of clients and how and their level of understanding of technology. And so with a very basic tutorial, even the tutorial that's already provided with Ruddle, but even a basic tutorial that I provide them, they can very easily click and provide their feedback and really eliminate the back and forth and the frustration that could come with some of these really large projects that I work on. Great, great. So uh, before Ruttel, uh, were you using any other tool similar to that? No, I wasn't. And I was actually searching for you guys for a really long time. Uh, and, like I, <laughs> and then there you were. Uh, and like I said, I, I was using Google Docs and project management apps and things like that, but mm. nothing as, I want to say robust, but it's not really robust. It's just so simple and intuitive, Ruttel. And that's exactly what we needed. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, how, how you came to know about us? Oh, gosh, that's a good question. I think it was just a Google search and you just came up one day. It might have been Product Hunt. Might have been if you guys were featured on Product Hunt. Uh, I know we have. We do have this uh, like a coming soon page on Product Hunt, but we never launched mm -hmm. there. We thought that you are with us from the AppSumo time. We did launch mm. AppSumo deals. Maybe it might have been. I, I'm a, I'm a self self proclaimed app like hoarder. I hoard apps, <laughs> um, so I can be from anywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, great, great. So, uh, like, how much? How much? Uh, if I have to quantify the efficiency, the increase in efficiency in your process here yeah, compared to the older process, like, how would you quantify that? How you put numbers to that? That's a really great question uh, because as a freelancer, as a designer, as we're building out websites, we will include a certain amount of revisions or iterations to each page. And the more revisions or iterations that are made on those pages, the more costly it could become either for the client or for us in terms of time. And that's really helped to streamline the process and be able to flip back and forth between the revisions and see exactly where we are in the process. It's really helped to streamline things. And I'm able to not only decrease the cost of a project, but also launch them much, much faster. And it's, you know, what I love is that clients can feel comfortable either by you leaving a comment or a video or even uploading a document, whatever makes them feel more comfortable. And I'm always of the mind to make them more comfortable because that will really also help with the process and get them launched as quickly as possible. So it's been a game changer. All right. Any hiccups in the mid, uh, in the mid because I think you're using the tool from August 2021. Yeah, so the only challenge that we've really had, we have a couple. Uh, videos don't show. So if you have a video background, I have to get the client to go over to the live site, which is really easy because they just click the icon to go over to the live site within Ruddle. Um, so I just make them aware that that's there so they can find that page. Um, the other uh, problem that we have is I need to, for them to leave feedback on courses that are inside a uh, password protected uh, you mm -hmm. know, login. 
And that is not possible with Ruddle that, that I'm aware of. And so we still have to rely on docs or uh, Loom videos or something like that for them to give that kind of feedback. All right. So how, how frequently you use uh, the, you work on these projects where they require a login? So, uh, every day, pretty much. Every day. Yeah. Awesome. So I think, I think um, you would be happy to know that uh, we are launching the feature for the logged in products. Very soon, very soon in the sense, Good. maybe next week. Uh, Good. And, yeah. And uh, we have developed a Chrome extension for Rattle now. Mm -hmm. And with that, you can go to any screen available on web. Just take it on your projects on a single click. So okay. you, need not, you, you need not to do the signups in order to mm -hmm. add, add those pages. You just sign up regularly in your dashboard. Go to that page, add from the Chrome extension. And yeah, that's it. You can start using all that on your projects. So, yeah. Uh, would you like to become our text users for that? I would love it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Are you on our Slack community? No, I'm not. Okay. So, uh, Risha will be sending you the Slack community email uh, link. So, you can come join us there. There are already 20 members in the web app testing, although there are 200 plus members in the community. So you can join the web app testing group and uh, mostly by next week, Monday or Tuesday, we will be doing a demo call where you can see how it works. Awesome. So hope that would be fine. Um, also, apart from that, any other bugs or feature level improvement you want, would like to make on Rattle? Not that I've seen. No, no, All that's right. it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very surprising answer because <laughs> every day we like, People bombard us with a lot of bugs and issues. So uh, we are happy uh, the tool is running fine with you. Mm. So what is the best thing about Rattle you like feature-wise? The simplicity Features? is there. Yeah, the yeah. simplicity. But apart from that. Um, I mean, just the ability to, uh, actually a major one is being able to pull in the new revised page um, as they see it there and um, not having to just get them to refresh that page and look at it on the website. You're actually pulling that in and you could toggle between the two. That is big because <laughs> I don't like to catch clients out, but sometimes they'll ask me for, uh, you know, a revision and then I'll do it and then they'll say, Hey, I didn't ask for that. And I'll say, actually, if you go to revision, you know, version two, you'll see that exactly what happened. So it helps us to, um, be completely transparent about what somebody was responsible for and the communication that happened there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So versioning is one of them apart, like, uh, anything else you like about the tool? Uh, I love that we could see everything, all the project in one and they can toggle between the pages and let you just go down, uh, that list. Um, there, oh, the, uh, the Asana, integration is also really good. We haven't taken advantage of that as much as I would like. We're just kind of getting started with that uh, because we do do that a lot. I work with a lot of not only our own Asana, but we do work with clients who have their Asana too. So it's easy for us to kind of shoot that over. Oftentimes though, what I do is create a task in Asana and I'll take that page URL in Ruddle and I'll just put it into Asana so they can click through and I'm just, they're just going down the list. And that seems to be the easiest thing for them to do. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, uh, what's your opinion on the edit mode? Because for us, edit mode is the power of the tool. I don't like clients to do the edit mode, to be honest. Uh, be, <laughs> if it's a, a copywriter or another freelancer that we're working with, I don't mind it so much. But clients can get a little carried away with edit mode and then they completely change our design altogether. And that could be pretty costly for us. Um, so I literally just want them to click, tell me what they want in that uh, pre-design section and that's it. Uh, or else they can get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use edit mode internally, like within your team with the developers when you're dealing with them? No, not typically. No, we could for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. but we haven't really taken advantage of that, but it, yeah, we could definitely consider that. Yeah. All right, all right. So the reason why I'm talking about edit mode is, uh, because the kind of plans we are having with that mode, um, just imagine a scenario where, um, 
you want to change the headline um like the change the content of the headline or the size of the headline um when you're talking when you tell to your developer that um make this headline smaller then yeah. how would you convey that you just tell them like do you tell them the pixels the values and all or how you convey them yeah it will usually just all click and just say just increase this by x amount of pixels yeah yeah so so yeah. that that thing is edit mode that which you are using like so you you see the value from the from the tool only right or you inspect element from the uh yeah well you know we don't have that big of a problem um where we do a lot of those little changes um okay. sometimes yeah a little bit i i we haven't had but uh, you know i have to think about this to see how we can streamline that process using ruddle um usually we'll do it live on a call sometimes we don't re really don't use that that much yeah um the thing is we're using kajabi and kajabi uh although there's we could do custom css and all sorts of stuff java um we try to keep within the confines of kajabi because uh as they update the platform we don't want to mess with any of the code mm -hmm. um so uh, we try to streamline that as much as possible which eliminates the need to increase this and change that and so forth yeah all right, all right. so um edit mode is not actually doing any changes on your live website it's yeah. just a replica of your website apart from that uh so soon we are launching the deploy feature as well so mm -hmm. whatever edits you are going to make on rattle so let's say you put a website in it your own website and then you want to change the copy of like the content part generally what we do is we, we go to the developers ask them to make the changes with rattle soon you will be able to make the changes by your own and deploy them directly on live website mm -hmm. so that is how the edit mode will be more beneficial and, and is the, this uh, specifically to WordPress? Anything. Anything. Uh, okay. So WordPress, React, Vue.js, any platform, any uh, framework you're using. Okay. So, yeah, I'm yeah. interested to see what. You, so we are fairly, uh, you know, directed with with Kajabi. We use Kajabi the most. Mm -hmm. And so, if you have any plans with Kajabi, I'd love to see what you guys have for sure. All right. All right. Surely. Surely. Yeah. Um, any other features or any other suggestion you'd like to make? Um, no, not right now. I love it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, anything, any uh, new thing you would like us to introduce? Because uh, we are also introducing video commenting. So mm -hmm. commenting on videos. So mm -hmm. basically you can upload a video and add comments in the timeline fashion. So Which, we yeah, it's fantastic. I love that. We want to make Rattle the best feedback tool, all like the all-in-one or a single place where you can give all kind of feedbacks, all kind of files related feedbacks. So yeah, um, anything you have, uh, Risha, to ask? No, I think that pretty much makes uh, sense because uh, I think you've had a pretty good experience using Rattle Afton. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we'll stay. We'll definitely stay. We'd like to stay connected with you uh, through our journey because uh, we believe that perfection is always a journey and it will always remain a journey. So we'll always stay connected and we'll definitely keep asking you for your feedback, for whatever thoughts you have while using Rattle. And if you have any bugs or issues, we'll definitely resolve them at the earliest possible. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to constantly think about ways that I can use Rattle in different, you know, beyond client projects. One way that we're looking at using it, we're actually starting to use it, is a uh, tooltip feature. Um, we're going to be selling themes for Kajabi and people will receive the Rattle right link to go over and get the tool tips of how they can adjust their theme, um, okay. either by, you know, text or having little videos of us with our screenshots, things like that to help them on their way. So uh, we're going to keep thinking about different ways we can use it as well. Okay. So that that's a more on the sales direction, right? Yep, exactly. So, yep. Uh, okay. So we are going to launch that as well. So it's right. <laughs> yeah. So where where you will be able to add a widget inside your website and mm. all the features you can like instead of comment, it would be a tooltip. Next, next, next. You will see all those features. It would be very it. great. It's a great tool for a salesperson. And uh, also uh, the one of the use of edit mode is your salespeople can take a website of a client 
make some changes and show them how possibility what is the possibility like mm. if you are changing the text and all then how it might look so this is this is how we are using at our agency it works really well because client can at the same moment they can visualize how their new final look could be so yeah which i love uh, we were just talking about that on our team meeting just now because the themes that we have a lot of people can't understand that if they just change out a few features on that page it completely changes the look and feel of that site yeah and um being able to show different iterations of that theme i think will help spark the creativity in people and so i love that that idea of being able to do that with ruddle yeah any tip you have for us like how because it's a growing company and uh, we are trying to uh, grab the us and uk market particularly so any tip you have for us i mean just hit freelancers every time i've shown ruddle to freelancers the ones that i work with they're just blown away like oh my gosh this is going to really help me to just save so much time and money mm-hmm. um copywriters in particular it's really really helpful because a lot of times copywriters will work on a doc mm-hmm. but they won't necessarily see how it will work in the actual page and i think that will be a huge not because i think the automatic assumption is oh this is going to be really great for designers but it, like there are so many different freelancers this could apply to as well yeah so thanks a lot for referring us to all these freelancers also we do have this affiliate program would you like to become a member i would i'd so love it we do share 25% of the revenues that we generate from mm-hmm. all your affiliates so you will be getting 25% out of that so yeah we will be sharing the link for that as well you can join us start sharing with your friends and great i think uh, that was a great conversation um thanks a lot for being a, such a wonderful user of ruddle and giving us the valuable feedback keep on throwing a lot of criticism please we ha- uh, desperately need that uh, okay. it's it's very uh, it's very uh, unusual to have such a smooth conversation we always want your <laughs> that's, that's true <laughs> <laughs> no I, i it's an amazing product and it's exactly what i've needed so maybe we're just the perfect fit right <laughs> <laughs> awesome all right yeah awesome. thanks for that afton thanks for your time thank you guys for all your amazing work yeah thank you afton have a great day ahead bye bye thanks bye bye bye